Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Hi folks, welcome back to the another video on Android testing. In this video, we will actually get started with the very basics of unit testing in Android. But before we get started with unit testing, I want to give you a very brief background or an understanding of how thinking like a tester is slightly different from thinking like a developer. It slightly requires a little bit of mindset change when it comes to writing unit test cases. So let's discuss that first before we actually get down to implementation of writing unit test case. As a developer, we always think in terms of creative endeavor. You are constructing something, you are moving forward, you are trying to build something. There is a problem and you are trying to solve that particular problem. This is what a typical developer mode mind works in. But that is not the case when you are thinking to write unit test cases. This is a slightly different mindset. If I can put it in a general sense, unit testing mode basically requires you to be little bit more critical and defensive and detail oriented. You are trying to prove the correctness of the code that you have written. You are also trying to ensure that whatever the logic that you have written doesn't break. And how do you ensure that? You are basically trying to prevent the regressions by writing the unit test cases because if something changes, those test cases will start failing and that is a very clear indication that something got changed. That is what a unit testing mindset requires. So having understood how these two things are slightly different, probably the next obvious question that you would be having is, what are we going to test? Well, we are going to test same application that we have built before as well. Let me give you the demo of the application. For those who have been following my channel, this should not come as a surprise, but for those people who have come on this channel for the very first time, for the benefit of those, I am going to quickly give a walkthrough of what the application is. The application name is Country Info App. It basically lists a huge number of series of countries. You have flag of the country, then the name of the country, capital, where it is situated in the sense in which continent it is situated. And then you have filter feature built into the application. You can filter by continent here by selecting the continent. You can say Asia and it basically filters out all the countries that are in the Asian continent. And you can write Europe. It will start showing you list of countries which are part of Europe continent. Then there is a, another filter which is drive by side. You want to filter based on whether the people in that country drive on left or right side of the road. So if I write left, these are the countries that drive on the left side of the road and then right. These are the countries which drive on the right side of the road. And then there are features such as when you hold on a country card for long, you get a pop up card. Do you want to delete this particular country? And when you click confirm that gets deleted, that is a delete functionality. And if you do a double click, then another pop up comes where you can edit the capital of that particular country. For example, I can write sample capital confirm and you can see that it gets updated. What's really important here for us to understand is not the nitty gritty details of the application itself. We have been developing this particular application as a part of multiple series. We have implemented it as a part of the Jetpack Compose series. Then we refined it in the Solid Principles series to make it solid compliant. And we are only going to use the same application to demonstrate how to write unit test cases for this particular application. So if you are wondering how this particular application is built, it is built using Jetpack Compose using Kotlin. And we would be doing unit testing series on this particular application. If you are wondering, is there any precondition to 
get started with unit testing, I would say solid principle compliance is the very basic thing to make sure that your code is adhering to. And in this case, the application that you just saw has been refactored as per solid principles. And if you have no idea of what is a solid principle, how to ensure that your code adheres to solid principle, I suggest that you watch the solid principles series so that you properly understand how to apply solid principles to a typical Android MVVM architecture based application code base. You might be wondering why is it necessary to make sure that your code base is as per solid principles. I would say it basically puts your code base in a sanitized structure so that you can start writing the unit test cases. Because if you want to write the unit test cases, you should be able to isolate your codes, classes, functionalities, methods in a properly isolated manner. And solid principles basically allows you to achieve that. So before even you try to attempt to learn unit testing, make sure that you understand solid principles properly and ensure that your code base is in adherence of solid principles. And only then you move on to start writing the unit test cases. And probably the next question that you might be having is, where do I get started when it comes to writing unit test cases? Should I start with composables? Should I start with repositories? Should I start with view models? Where do I even begin? I would say start with business logic or any code which you can see that is easily possible to isolate. So let me just give you a, a quick walkthrough of the code and show you the best candidates that is suited for writing unit test cases. So if you open the code here, here are the various packages. Components contain all the Jetpack components that we have created. Then there is a data database and here in app DB, you have database provider interface and app database. And if you go down here, repository, country repository, this is dependent on these other classes or objects like country DAO, data access object, country list service provider and coroutine dispatcher. So it has a dependency. So when you are about to get started with writing the unit test cases, don't choose these kind of classes. Try to go for the classes which are easier to test and which have least dependencies or have no dependencies. That doesn't mean that we are not going to test these things. We are going to write the unit test cases for these as well, but we will come to these things much later. Right now, we are looking for those classes or functionalities which have no dependencies and are easier to test. So let's go further filter by continent. This looks like perfect class for get started with unit testing. Same is the case with filter by drive side, filter by language, then utility functions. They usually have no dependencies. So these are very prime candidates to get started with unit testing. And if you just go here in the database, these converters, Converters are used in the room database to convert the data from room DB compatible to the Kotlin compatible data formats. So we would have written these converters to deal with these situations. So these are also not having any external dependencies. So these are also very prime candidates for writing the unit tests. So now having understood what is a prime candidate for writing the unit test cases. Let us get started with the very first thing, which is setting up of the application for that unit test. us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.